Hello guys, welcome to yet another new video of SpaceX updates. In this video, we are going to see the latest updates from Starbase, tomorrow's OneWeb Launch 15, an update on Rocket Lab's first launch from US soil, and a few updates on Artemis 1 and the Orion spacecraft. Last week on Saturday, Booster 7 was rolled back to Mega Bay for final upgrades before attempting a full 33-engine static fire test. While the booster sits inside the Mega Bay, crews continue to work on the orbital launch mount. We can see new shielding being applied to the OLM legs. SpaceX has rolled out a new business line called StarShield. The business unit, according to SpaceX's official website, will focus on national security using the existing Starlink technology. While Starlink is intended for consumers and commercial uses, StarShield is designed for government use, the website says. The weather is looking great for the launch of OneWeb Launch 15 mission tomorrow. Weather is 90% favorable for launch from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Liftoff is scheduled at 5.37 p.m. EST. This will be SpaceX's 55th mission of the year. Rocket Lab's first mission from U.S. soil nicknamed Virginia is for rocket lovers, is set to launch from Launch Complex 2 at Virginia Space's Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport within NASA's Wallops Flight Facility. The mission will launch three Hawkeye 360 satellites as its customer payloads. The two-hour launch window opens on Friday, December 9th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. After 19 days since it was launched from the Earth, NASA's Orion spacecraft successfully completed its second powered lunar flyby to set course for its way home. The historic mission is about to come to an end. The record-breaking spacecraft will splash down in the Pacific Ocean on December 11. This will mark the completion of Artemis 1 mission after being more than 25 days in space. Well, that is it for now. Thank you for watching.